Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of this as-yet-untitled figure review series. As you guys have probably figured out by now, today I'm reviewing Geronimon, or more specifically the 1983 Bondi 6-inch Chieftain Monster Geronimon. We'll, we'll, we'll show off a little bit, we'll do a little bit of showcase of the character here, the monster. As you can probably see from the glare here, it doesn't show up the best on the, this camera. But as you can see, there's very well detailed figure, a lot of texture everywhere. And let me tell you, <laughs> when I got this figure, it was dirty. When I tried to clean this figure, it took me forever and a day, and it's still dirty. Although not a lot nicer than it was, it's a pain in the ass. But the texture is nice. Uh, everything's displayed here: the hair on the ankles, wrists, beard, feathers are all here, fins. Well displayed, although maybe not 100% accurate. In fact, I know it's not 100% accurate, but still, it's, it's very nice for what it is. It's a very hard vinyl, too. I mean, this stuff is tough. Very sturdy. It's like a brick. I swear if you threw it at a wall, the wall would take more damage than the actual figure would. So, let's talk about the most standout feature of this figure, the coloration. Weird. Green and gold, right? In fact, Geronimon doesn't really have really any, if at all, green or gold on him. Maybe there's some green in his feathers, but I, I, there's probably no gold on him. In fact, he's supposed to be a dark gray or blackish color. And these bands here were actually yellow. Hair was white. Uh, feathers were generally red on top with some white. And varying colors all the way down. I'm pretty sure the fins here were yellow. But I, I can't re quite recall. We'll do well now since you got a general idea of how the detailing is. We'll let's, let's do a little history on the character here. To my knowledge, Geronimon has only ever showed up in one episode out of all of the Ultra series, and unless, unless you consider Ultra Battle, which I'm not sure if he was in any of that. But he was in the original Ultraman series, episode 37, Small Hero. In that episode, it was Pigmon randomly showed up in a Japanese store. And he was actually killed earlier in the series. They, he came to warn the Science Patrol that Geronimon here was trying to resurrect monsters that the Science Patrol has killed so they could get revenge on them. And apparently they had five hours or he was going to raise 60 monsters to attack the Science Patrol headquarters and Japan. Of course, you know, they had to retaliate and Generally, you should figure out how this episode went. The other kaiju to appear in this episode was a revived Duraco, which was slightly different than the original. And then Telestan, which both are, both are really cool, and it's good to see him back. Of course, Pigmon was back, even though he was dead. And then Geronimon here. Very good episode, actually. I really like this one. Uh, if people who are familiar with the series, uh, Ide, he's kind of the comic relief character. This is actually, for some odd reason, even though he is comic relief, he has the best character building episodes. And this would be a good example of one of those. At least I think. So if you don't have the original series, get it. It's getting re-released in September. Uh, I think it's like 15, 20 bucks, something like that for the entire series. Buy it. It's, it's well worth it. Generally, I wanted to do something with this now where I would tell you about the history of the character and then maybe give you my opinion on certain things I've noticed about him, or a little trivia of sorts. Now, you think of the name Geronimon. What really comes to mind when you think of that? For some people, probably nothing, because when I first heard of it, I didn't really think of nothing. Uh, but if you actually think about it, if you, if you, I was typing it in a while back, and I punched it up, and if you hack the N off of it, it spells Geronimo. And if you, if you really think about it, that kind of makes sense. 
I really doubt this was coincidence. If it was, this is an extreme bit of irony. But Geronimo was an Apache chief and medicine man. And we have the chieftain of monsters here. I really, really doubt that the inspiration for Geronimo's name was not Geronimo. And like I said, if it was, I mean, I'd love to have that information, but that would be a big piece of irony. Just a little, little cool thing I noticed about it. So let's talk about the, just some final thoughts on the figure. Collectors, if you do want this, I would only recommend it for people who like older figures. Maybe a big Geronimon fan, but people who like older figures for the strange coloration. There's actually another figure of this out. It's the only other one I know released by Bondi, other than this one here was the... Uh, it's actually fairly new. It, it was, I think it was 2008 or something. It was Geronimon, but it was... Different mold, correct coloration, a lot easier to find than this. In fact, I've only seen two of these on the internet in the last four months that I was looking, and this was the most reasonable. I paid $15 for it shipped. Again, if you are big into figures, or you just want to get some more obscure stuff, you know, you like the vintage, you like that cool golden green look, this is what I'd recommend it for you. If you want to do stop action with it, I do not recommend this figure. The legs are weird, it'd be awkward to try to do movement with it, the only thing I could see it fit as is if, like, waist-high shots, and if you had, like, well, there just happens to be this green and gold statue of Geronimon that somebody built and not ever have it move. That would be the best thing for it. But if you do want a good Geronimon, I would just, it, for that sort of thing, or if you're into newer figures or more accurate detailing, buy the new one. It's more readily available. It, it's a really nice figure. I don't own it yet, but it's a really nice figure. So there's my thoughts on, on that. Uh... You know, hopefully if, you know, hopefully nobody's seen the review of this figure yet. I'd like to do some more obscure stuff. I have a bunch of things laying around my house. So that's going to be it for this episode, and hopefully I'll have another one out for you guys soon. Take care.